Hey friends, hope you're doing well. I'm going to show you here a neat little trick when it comes to bookmarks in Power BI. Did you know that you can have the two different bookmarks on the same visualization? So in this case, the same button. I'm going to show you what I mean. You can see here I have a button in green with this little dot here, and I have here some KPI. And if I click the button, so let me click it here, you see that now it switched to a different one and also the visualization changes. This is just one visualization, it's just one button. These are not two buttons overlapping where one is hidden. It's not the case, it's just one button in here. And how this works is you need to group your bookmarks. So in this case, I have two bookmarks in here. And if I go to my bookmark view, you can see that. And the default one, which is colored in green here, that is this black dot. And the other bookmark is just a red dot. This one here. As you can see, this is one bookmark, this is one bookmark. So these are the two bookmarks. And what you then specify for the specific shape you use, in this case this one, if I go to the formatting option, you see that I specified the first bookmark uh, in a group. So I can say the group number one, which is my first, my original bookmark, is here the default bookmark, and I allow the deselection. And if I do this, then I can launch on a deselection another bookmark, which in this case is the red one, the red circle. And if I create it this way, I, there is no need for me to have two different shapes in order to trigger the bookmark and then hide one of those shapes. Instead, I only have one shape, which I can customize. Also, what should be happen? Also, how should the visual look like? When you uh, click on it, right, when it's selected and not, you know this is doable by the button states. And this allows me then to have only one, in this case, one shape, one button in here. And this button triggers two bookmarks. One when it is selected and the other one when it is deselected. And this is the whole trick.